Hi there, James here, Inspire Group Asia, and actually down in our Wellington office, catching up with quite a few of the team, including Nat Sisson, our learning partner. Now, Nat, actually, you've had an, a really interesting background before you came to Inspire, you know, through working all over the world, uh, writing books, speaking, advising people. And, you know, one of the questions I get quite a lot when I'm up in Asia with our clients there is about mental health and well-being. And I just think it'd be interesting to share maybe two or three tips on an individual level that people could use to enhance that right away today. Yeah, definitely. I think one of the biggest things that I have found, and I'm still not the master of it, is the power of meditation. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people pay a lot of lip service to it, mm. or they think it's incredibly hard to do. But seriously, I do around five to ten minutes a day. Mm. And often that is just breathing. And if it's a guided meditation, I use the app Insights Timer. Mm. And I find that if I don't do that each morning, I haven't really set myself up for how intentional I want to be, mm. how I go out in the day. It just gives me this little sanctum of peace and quiet and inner calm for the day to choose my attitude mm. and how I'm going to turn up. And on days when I don't do it, I do feel often a little more frazzled mm -hmm. or things come at me and I'm less proactive rather than reactive. Mm. Um, so I do just think it's something that everybody can practice. Yeah. Just 10 minutes with yourself, peace and quiet, just trying to bring your thoughts back to just being in the present mm. moment is incredibly powerful and the benefits of it are huge. Brilliant, thank you very much. And anything else that you would recommend? Just one little yeah. nugget. I'm a big fan of setting boundaries. Mm. I think we had this chat at Inspire yeah, Group yeah. recently. How do you sort of manage your time? Mm. And a couple of the things I see, whether you're traveling or not, is around times when clients and customers can contact you mm. um, and when anybody can access yeah. you and being very protective of your time, especially yeah. first thing in the morning and in the evening. Mm. Um, and the clearer you are about, hey, you can contact me between these hours on these channels and my response time will be 24 hours, mm. 48 hours, sets wonderful intentions for how people will deal with you. Mm. And I think in the past a lot of people have said, but won't I lose business that way or won't I lose respect potentially by not being there? And I was like, no, you'll actually gain it because mm. people will be like, wow, yeah. that James, he's really on to it. And I can only contact <laughs> him on that time, so I will appreciate his time, yeah. I will treat it preciously, and I will go in with concise mm. questions or needs. Um, and I think it's a very easy thing to do, but we, we leave ourselves too open mm. and vulnerable to saying I've always got to be accessible, mm. Mm. and it's not the case. So not only doing these things, but being proud of doing them as well. Hey, thank you. That's something we can share and practice actually straight away today. Thank you, Nat. Welcome.